Lufa, I mean, it's a very basic proposition. We want to grow food where people live and we want to grow it more sustainably using obviously no pesticides, herbicides, fungicides, capturing rainwater, recirculating all the irrigation water, so having no water or nutrient loss, composting using half the energy, half the energy of heating primarily. You know, we're in Montreal, you need a lot of energy for heat. And more importantly, using no new land. You know, people looked at us and said, you're crazy. You have no background in, in, in plant science, in architecture, in growing food, in distribution, uh, yet to, you want to reinvent the way we, we look at food, the way we grow food, the way we distribute food. And we went from that idea into this through a tremendous amount of innovations and hard work. And we had to just rethink the way we did our crop planning, the way we managed the farm, the way we think of distribution, and, and software has been at the heart of all this. I mean, I like to think that it's thanks to technology that we can grow in a more natural way. But technology, we cannot do it without. I mean, we, when I look at the challenge we have here today, if, we did, if it wasn't for the software that managed our microclimates, that give us a, a different uh, temperature and humidity and irrigation for each group of plants, we wouldn't be able to grow in polyculture. We'd be growing in monoculture. So technology allow, enables that. Mm -hmm.